All right, Miles, thank you. Our time now, 515. Measures that are keeping us safe and healthy are also hurting small businesses. But the country's top leaders say help is on the way as Congress and the White House work toward a new deal. News 3 reporter Anthony Sabello joining us live in Norfolk this morning. So, Anthony, how much money are we talking about here? More than $300 billion for small businesses around the country. Jessica, you know, we've talked to a lot of businesses out there who, with all these stay-at-home orders that have been put in place, yes, it's to stop the spread of coronavirus, but we can't ignore the impact that it's had on small businesses, many of them hurting pretty badly. And so this money would mostly go to Paycheck Protection. It's a small business payroll program that was recently drained. The White House says it's very close to a deal working with Democratic leaders in Congress to get it all done. Votes have not been scheduled yet, though. The Senate is set to meet today, and here's what the Treasury Secretary said yesterday about it. The Senate can pass this tomorrow and that the House can take it up on Tuesday and Wednesday we'd be back up and running. So this could happen pretty quickly. The measure for small businesses is also expected to include funding for hospitals and COVID testing. In regards to testing, the president, he tweeted governors need to get to work. Many governors, including Virginia's Ralph Northam, taking offense to that. Now, Vice President Mike Pence says he's holding a call with governors today to discuss how to activate more testing. Of course, we're going to follow all of these developments both on air and online. So stay with News 3 for those updates. We're live here in Norfolk. Anthony Sabella, back to you.